All right. Good morning, everybody. We have received lots of questions, as you might imagine, uh, in the Ohio Treasury over the last uh, couple of weeks, especially this week, about uh, the state's uh, finances, the safety of our investments, uh, questions from local governments who are invested in the Star Ohio uh, Food Investment Program that the state of Ohio has operated for the last 25 years. And I just thought it would be helpful to come and address the situation, to give you our perspective in the Treasury that the state's money is safe uh, and is not threatened by any of the current difficulties that we're seeing uh, in, in Washington and in New York with the markets, uh, but then to also answer any questions you might have uh, about the situation on the thought that speaking to you is a proxy to then speak uh, to the public on this issue, who I think needs some reassurance and clarification uh, of what is going on. Uh, in terms of the Treasury itself, uh, we do oversee an investment portfolio of state money that totals about $18 billion. Uh, that breaks down into the state's main account, which is essentially the state's checkbook. Uh, the Star Ohio program, where we invest on behalf of local governments, which is money from school districts, cities, villages, counties, townships, library districts, uh, all the arms of local government around the state. Uh, we have the proceeds of the tobacco bond issuance from last year that are currently invested and are on a spend down plan over the next several years. Uh, and we have the lottery portfolio, that is monies that are invested to pay out the claims on the lottery that arise and have arisen over time. Uh, the state's investments are not uh, invested uh, by law uh, in the <coughs> stock market. So when you see the Dow Jones <coughs> bouncing up and down uh, wildly as it has, in the last week in particular, that does not affect uh, the safety and security of any of the state's uh, operating money. Uh, so instead, we are invested uh, by law in more prudent short-term investments, uh, bonds and notes, U.S. government issuances, uh, some agency issuances, and those are the safest investments around, and none of those have been threatened uh, by the events, uh, again, in Washington uh, and New York. Uh, in particular, by policy, and this is by choice of the current treasurer, uh, we have not been invested since I have been treasurer in mortgage-backed securities of any kind, although we could be by law. Some states have been, and some states have suffered losses accordingly. We have gone beyond that, and we have not been invested in any asset-backed securities uh, under my uh, stewardship. Uh, we did sell some of those investments early on because we had seen the foreclosure crisis up front here in Ohio and up close and personal and felt that those assets were risky uh, and that we did not want to put state money into those. Florida, by contrast, in the local government pool lost a couple of billion dollars in mortgage-backed securities uh, that they acquired through Lehman Brothers uh, and they have had a run on their fund and big problems uh, with their local government monies down there. A few other states have had smaller problems. We have had none. Uh, in terms of the state's main portfolio, uh, we set a record for investment earnings in the last fiscal year. Uh, we continue to do well this year. Uh, with the short-term nature of our holdings, when interest rates decline, as they did uh, rather uh, significantly at the beginning of this year, when the Fed funds rate went from 5.25% down to 2.00%, uh, the investment earnings of the state will decline accordingly over time. Uh, but we have continued to outperform our benchmarks, uh, and, and that's a number of steps that we took with this Treasury's investment uh, portfolio. So I want people to understand in Ohio that their money at, at, at the state is safe. Uh, it is being well managed, carefully and conservatively managed, and when they see uh, all this talk about uh, losses for uh, retirement savings and other things that is not affecting the main portfolio of the state of Ohio. Uh, there are real problems in the credit market that have been identified and are being discussed uh, and are the, the focus of the action uh, that's impending from Washington. Uh, that action is needed uh, and the credit markets have a huge long-term effect on the economy and we're having a short-term dislocation right now uh, that we will uh, continue to move through. Uh, but again, that does not affect uh, the state's operating funds, and we're in no danger at this point of any kind of uh, insolvency or, or troubled situation by the state. Questions? Oh, 